Hi friends this is Angular JavaScript web development video tutorial with PHP script and here we will discuss how to make pagination by using Angular JavaScript with PHP and MYSQL. We all know what is pagination, so by using pagination we can display only some number of data on page and not display data at same time on single page. So by using pagination we can divide a display of data in different part, so if we want to display more data then only we can see that data, so it will reduce our load on our database server. This things we will build by Angular JavaScript with PHP, because this framework is written in JavaScript and web development by using this framework has rapidly increased so we want to know how can we make pagination by using this framework. Now let's start learning this topic. So this is our testing database and in this we have one student table, in this table we have already insert some data, so for make pagination we will use this data. This is our index page and under this page we have already imported bootstrap and angular javascript library link. Here we have also download and include directory paginate javascript library. This is angular javascript module for pagination, so by using this module we will make pagination by using angular javascript with php. Now we have moved to write html code. So here we have write ng app directive is equal to pagination app, this directive define root of our application. After this we have write ng controller directive is equal to pagination controller, here we have add controller to our angular javascript application. Below we have define one table with two column like student phone and student phone, we will display student data under this table. Now we have moved to write angular javascript code, so here we have write pagination app variable is equal to angular dot module method with two argument. In first argument we have write app name pagination app. And in second argument we have write directive pagination module name. By using this name we can use this pagination module for make pagination. After this we have write pagination app dot controller method with two argument, in first argument we have write controller name pagination controller and in second argument we have write callback function. With two argument like dollar scope and dollar http variable, by using dollar scope variable we can get or assign value to angular expression our application and by using dollar http we can communicate with server data. Under this function we have write dollar http variable dot get method and under this method we have write fetch dot php method. Here we have send request to this fetch.php by using get method. After this we have write success callback function. This function will be called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write dollar scope dot all data variable is equal to data. Here we have store data which we have received from data has been assigned to this all data expression. Now we have moved to write PHP code in fetch.php, 
so on this page first we have make database connection so here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new to class with three argument in first argument we have write mysql host is equal to local host and database name set to testing in username argument we have write root and password set to blank After making database connection we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from student table order by student ID table column in descending order. Below this we have write statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, this statement will make query for execution. For execute query we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write while loop and under condition we have write dollar row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch method and under this we have write to class fetch association method. This method will return array of data one by one which can be accessed by this dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write dollar data variable in array format is equal to dollar row variable. So here we have store student data in dollar data variable in array format. Lastly we want to send this data to Angular JavaScript request in JSON format. So we have write echo statement with JSON and code function with dollar data variable. This function convert array into JSON string and send to request. Now we have go index page and here we have write table row tag with directive paginate is equal to single data in all data variable. Here this directive is directive of paginate module which we have use in replace of ng repeat directive for display data under table. And here we have write all data variable in which we have store student data in JSON format and by using this directive we have fetched data from this variable by using single data variable. Under this table row we have write first table column and under this we have write open and close two bracket and between this we have write single data dot student name column it will print student name table column data. After this we have write second table column and under this we have write open and close two bracket and between this we have write single data variable dot student phone table column. It will display data of student phone table column. This code will display all single on this single page but we want to display on 5 data on single page and for display other data we have to click link. So here we have write pipe sign and after this we have write items per page set to 5. By writing this it will load only top 5 data on this page and other data we can see by click on next page link. Lastly we want to make pagination link so here we have write directive pagination controls with max size attribute is equal to 5, direction links is equal to true, boundary links is equal to true and close directive pagination control. This control has been generated by directive paginate module which we have used here and maximum size is equal to 5 means, it will display only 5 page link with next and previous button link and first and last button link on web page.
So here our code is ready so we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see when page has been load into browser then we can see only top 5 student data on web page in table format and below we can see pagination link. This is because we have make pagination here, if we want to see next record then we have click on second number button, after click on this button we can see next record. Suppose we want to go to last records then here we have click on this last page button and it has load last page data on web page without refresh of web page. This Angular JavaScript module has been used for create pagination of dynamic data on web page and it has used Ajax for load data without refresh of web page and it is also compatible with Bootstrap library also. This module is make perfect pagination link with all features like only display 5 button of pagination link and other button has been converted into dot dot, so if there is large amount of data then it will convert all button into dot. This module create pagination with next and previous button link and first and last button link, and it has load data without refresh of web page, so if you are Angular JavaScript developer and you want to make pagination then this tutorial will help you. If you have any query regarding this Angular JavaScript with PHP video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our Angular JavaScript with PHP video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.